Hey guys, it's Kristen at Decorators Warehouse and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create um, a fun multi-ribbon bow just as the one that you see here. So I've chosen three ribbons that I think pair really well together. Um, I have this plaid that pulls in the white and the gray and the red. I also have this beautiful birch, it's got a great texture. I'm going to pair this in the middle. Um, just to break it up and then I have a solid as well, solid gray. So as you notice, um, these work really well together. There's coordinating elements and all of them sticking in the same color family. Um, so we're gonna start on our bow and we're gonna work from the top of the bow <laughs> down. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. Starting with our plaid, this is the, um, the most pattern that we have. So I want that to be featured on the top. So we'll start there with the plaid. Um, I always like to let my ribbon drop to the floor, but I'm gonna create three loops of each ribbon and then I'm gonna end again with the plaid and I'll put another two loops of the plaid on the bottom. So when we're doing a bow, we're gonna start with the tail and we're gonna create a loop. So you can see I'm just kind of pinching it with my finger right now. And then what we do is we twist, okay? And then I'm gonna pull that finger around to hold it in place. So basically when we twist, that just brings the pretty side back up to the top. Otherwise, you would um, your next loop would be with the bottom facing forward. So I'm just gonna continue that process. So I'm gonna pinch, I'm gonna pull them to make sure they're the same size, do a twist, and then create a third loop and a twist. Okay, we'll leave a tail um, two. So right now I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer than I think that I need. Just add a diagonal. And then I'm going to come in with my next ribbon, which will be this beautiful birch. And since my tail is coming out this direction, I'm going to start with the tail with the birch, but I'm going to start it going the other direction. I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to place it here on the bottom. And then we're just going to repeat that process of three loops. Got a loop, I'm gonna twist it. Another loop, twist it, and a third loop. All right, I'm gonna cut a tail. And I'll come in at the end and we can put a little decorative finish on those. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the gray. So I'm gonna bring my tail facing in the opposite direction. Pinch it, add it on, onto my bow, and then we're gonna go loop. Again, checking the size. And my third loop. And again, cutting a tail. All right, now I could definitely stop there, um, but I do wanna end on the red, just since it's such a fun punch of color. So I'm gonna add an additional two loops using the red. So I'll put my tail to the other side pinch and add it in. I'm gonna do a loop, twist it, and do one more loop. Okay, my loops are about, um, oh, about, I would say six inches. And then I'm gonna cut. All right, and then using a piece of floral wire, I am going to slide this around the center of my bow. And I am going to twist it, getting it as tight as I can. I'm gonna twist it several times there. All right, we really want it to be secure so it doesn't fall apart. All right, and now I'm just gonna start fluffing the bow. So um, I'm gonna to go to the left, to the right, to the center, okay? Then I'm gonna bring this tail to the left, to the right, up. Then we're gonna go left, right, and up. Okay, and then we're gonna come to the other side. We'll go left, right, center, left, right, center, and then to the left. All right, so now everything's kind of in its place, um, but as you can see, it's, it needs to be shaped out. 
So I'm gonna go inside each loop. This is wired ribbon, so it'll hold its shape very nicely. And I'm just going to put my hand in there to open them up. I want those loops to look nice and big. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I have a lot of tails in here right now and they're kind of going in every direction. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add a fish tail detail and I'm gonna cut them down so they're more comparable in size to the, the loops. Um, and when I say a fish tail detail, I'm gonna fold it in half and cut at an angle. So it just creates a nice um, decorative detail. And I'm gonna to continue to do the same thing on all of my tails. All right, well there you have it, um, a beautiful bow. This is a great size bow um, to add on to a wreath. If I were to do that, I would take the wire, wrap it around the steel frame of the wreath. Um, you could add it onto a lantern swag, a chair back. You could put them on your banister as well. Um, but bows are a great way to bring in some festive color around the holidays. So we hope that this was helpful. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our station. Um, also, we're on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well and online at www.decoratorswarehouse.com. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us.